skill point available. Here's my issue right now. Um, I have the things I need. All I need is one more for the arrow climber. I just don't know anything else that's interesting enough. Yeah, sure, I can create hollow point bullets, but... I don't really need those. I see shotgun shells. Maybe just these eye for detail things. The ones that help me find um, these special situations. Because these finishers, I, I don't really incapacitate enemies. I just kill them. Is this uh, damage from enemy after a successful stealth kill? Maybe, but hasn't been an issue. Either I'm in full combat or I've killed them. The faster heal might be interesting, but that also hasn't been a problem. Challenge objects. I, no, no, that's just challenge objects. I, I don't really need those. Um... Maybe, maybe this is useful. Strong medicine. Become more resistant to damage while after you heal. Because when I heal, I'm obviously in trouble. So that means that having more damage resistance for that moment would be a good idea. Exactly, Fub. That's, that's always the weird ludonarrative dissonance, right? Hold on. I know we're in the middle of a fight. Let me just rest here for about half an hour and, and you know, fiddle with my fiddle with my assault rifle. Maybe fix it up a little bit. Yeah, that that's the point. I mean, I, I spoke of this yesterday as well, where there's also the problem of having one journal that you find, yet it's split into several sections. Okay, sure. It's a little bit weird, but why are those sections in the places that they are? How did they get there? Let alone that there's. Recon. I'm gonna tell them that you forced me to steal all this shit at gunpoint. Okay, no let's make that true. Give me the shit. Ah, uh, I literally. <laughs> so there's some protection here because you can't hit him like this, but I, I think he gets the point though. Okay. A refinement tool for extra upgrades. Now that might be useful. But do I need an additional tier of upgrades? Let's see. Compound bone. I need a refinement tool. Okay. And improved cams? Oh, right. That one. Okay, fair enough. I need uh, a refinement tool. So let's see. That would be 192. So I can buy that one. And that would leave me with uh, 17. This would be fun. Commando outfit. Rifle laser sight. That might be, that might be good, actually. Grenade launcher for the rifle. That might be real nice. Rope sender. Oh, I love that. Pistol suppressor would be cool. I don't... I'm not interested in getting a tactical shotgun or a military rifle particularly. That might be good, but... I think we have a while of upgrades to go. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go with all these other ones. Particularly the rope ascender might just save me some time and frustration. Okay, that that outfit might not be that relevant. Accuracy is always a good thing, though. You know what? How often I'm going to use that? But I think the rope ascender is definitely something to get. The pistol suppressor, no. But that, I'm already using the bow. So you know what, maybe the refinement tool and the um, rope center might be the best things to buy. Oh, Mighty Sid saying, hold on, hey, um, Mighty Sid, let me know, what, what's, what's your consideration? Uh. 
because if if I'm making a mistake by buying the refinement tool, then then do let me know because maybe that's just something we unlock, right? I just want to make sure we don't waste uh, our stuff. <coughs> I looked it up. You have to buy the refinement tool. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Just to... Just to be sure there. Mm. Yeah, I think the refinement tool and the rope center might be best. Rope center isn't really needed. It's just for comfort. Yeah, we're gonna buy the refinement tool. Wait, do we buy it? Oh, we hold it. Okay. Is that a good idea? I mean, this is just an outfit. That's a little bit of accuracy. We get more accuracy with the refinement tool upgrade. Let's just do it. We'll get more stuff. You know, we'll get more coins later by doing other things. Okay. There's no upgrade specifically right now that we can do. Let's... Zoom in here and go back to that base camp and continue our journey. Thanks for the help, Mighty Sid. You know, I wonder if they're gonna make a third game in this series. Because so far, this game has been pretty good. The first one's already been pretty good. I think this one's been received really well also. Oh god. Okay, nope. Oh, so that was a finisher. Well, not I didn't do a finisher, but I mean it gave me the opportunity to do a finisher. It has been months since the snows of the mountain buried the heart of Katesh. We sent men to search for survivors or food, but none have returned. Sounds drift up from the glaciers, but if people still lived entombed inside, I do not know. It could be the shifting ice. But I will be the first to admit, it sounds like the voices of men. Perhaps the ghosts of the Prophet's warriors still patrol the frozen streets. We will send no more of our people inside. We have to accept that the Prophet, and the city, are lost to us, and that we are now on our own. I don't know if you have to accept that. Hey, here's the thing I've been forgetting. Hold up. This is, this is, um... Unprofessional. I know, I know, I know. It's unprofessional. Um, let me get to my sin. I'm suddenly realizing I don't have my Twitch alerts up. Twitch alert. Come on. That is... I had been missing something. I had a window open there. There we go. Let's, um, let's get these alerts up there. Haha! -ha. There we go. You're going to get a few more frame drops, he says after the frame drops. Sorry about that. I suddenly realized what's been bugging me in the back of my mind the entire time. Oh, it's one of you. You and me! I mean, I know it could just poison them, but... I mean, if he makes it that easy for me. Anything else? No. Okay, hello. This is Team Five. We're heading into the catacombs. Need some backup here. I don't think Got you it. will be. On our way. Why don't we just drop the grenades and be done with it? You're damn right I am. Wait, who said that? Oh god. Hold this position. Keep this over in fire. It's a perfect fire. Reinforcements are here. Get her down. Go, go. Keep your heads down. Cover me. <laughs> Come and try! Come on! 
Okay, she is starting to become real sociopathic. I mean, she is remarkably calm about all of this. Uh -oh. That is some bad news. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, isn't that a good thing? Wait, achievement unlocked? A helping hand? What was that? Defend the remnants from Trinity evasion. Oh, cool. Jacob. They're gone. I fear this battle is far from over. Will you tell me more about this place? You've earned that much. Come with me. In ancient times, our prophet brought the divine source to this valley. My ancestors built a test to protect it from the outside world. To what end? What is the divine source, Jacob? What is the Matrix? An artifact from a time long forgotten. We believe it holds a fragment of God's soul. Legend tells us those who beheld the source were granted immortality. That's true. Where are those people now? have always been drawn here, seeking its power. Trinity. Yes. They seek to spread their darkness across the world. With the source, their soldiers would be unstoppable. Then help me find it before they do. This is not your birth. So is her hair blonde, or what's going My on there? My father died for this. You can't feel the emptiness inside you, Lara. You can only set it free. I'm gonna find it, with or without you. This is very um, Last Crusade. Wait, Sophia, let me go. I have to do what I can. You spilt blood for us. I want to help. You know where the Atlas is? The cathedral. In the archives below. But we won't follow you there. Why? What will I find? There are others. The deathless ones. They will kill any who trust My father believes they will stop Trinity. You can't take that chance. I know. Here. Take this. It will help you reach the cathedral. Oh, that's the item I needed to open the um the tomb earlier on. That reminds me, I can open up some more tombs now. But am I just am I just locked out of that area? Oh. <sighs> Having a shadow organization after your blood sort of force you to develop psychopathic uh, psychopathic tendencies just stay alive. Yeah, I guess so. You know, that's that's what I actually enjoyed about the um, the new James Bond, the Daniel Craig James Bonds, because they they sort of identify that there is nothing cool about. Crap. Oh, press X to. Deploy the grapple axe. Wait, what? Whoa! Okay, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that there's nothing cool about James Bond. The previous James Bonds were all sort of gentlemen, really, you know, smooth talking, cool people. But then the reality that's that's being uh, represented by oh god. By Daniel Craig is that 
No, James Bond is a horrible, horrible person. And that's I, I think that's that's sort of in here as well, the the hints of it. It's not I'm not sure it's I don't think it's intentionally done, but you can read you can definitely read that into Lara Croft that she's actually kind of a bad person when you think about it. Whereas, and I find it interesting to, to contrast her with um, Geralt in that sense, because Geralt also does bad things, but he does it more in a childish way. Oh, hey, let's go find that document. He... Oh, wait, that's that direction. He more does bad things or tries to be a badass because he just doesn't really know how to be anything else. Wait, how far back do you... Oh, hello to the left here. There we go. The bones of the earth itself offer up their wealth. And we have learned to survive and subsist. Oil bubbles up from below. It can be gathered in the deep places, caves, dens, and our ancestors' tombs, and it will burn with little effort. In times of war, we coat our arrows to make them burn. Arrows? Deeper still, you can find metal in shining veins that can be mined for their ore. We use that metal to forge simple tools, but someday, we will need that metal to repair the Soviet weapons. Living in harmony with the land rarely means living in harmony with our fellow man. One of the coolest upgrades? It looks like it, Mighty Sid, yeah. Just a little... Oh! Really? Okay, that was uh, surprising. There we go. But yeah, a little Spider-Man action. I always like that. The actually the the game that had the the best web slinging, as far as I'm concerned, was I think was Spider-Man 2 for the. Oh, was that GameCube? It was one where the ropes actually attached to the buildings around, so you needed to make sure you were near buildings rather than. I think it's Spider-Man 1. They just you know warped up into the air, so it really gave you a feeling like you were Spider-Man doing Laura. that stuff. If you're headed to the cathedral, Trinity will be everywhere. I know, but I have no choice. So much violence and death. Jacob's people have been through so much, yet they continue to fight. They are bound by an oath taken by their ancestors. A duty handed down from the past. But I see a people who simply want to live in peace. I believe it's time for them to let go of the past. If I can find the Atlas, it might lead to the Divine Source. I could take it away from here. They wouldn't have to suffer anymore. They could share the burden of the truth with the world. But if all this leads to nothing, I don't know what I'll do. So I've been looking through uh, these upgrades and it looks like we actually just need a bunch of deer stuff to uh, to get there. To, to get the upgrades. The last upgrades, I mean. Oh, hello. There's a strong box right behind me. Ooh, full auto shotgun. Okay. Uh, so there's a bunch of things that I want to make sure to grab while we're here. But when we get to this point, it might be good to find... Where was it now? I think this tomb and, and that crypt. We needed the upgrade that we now have. So I, th I think what we should be doing is going through a bunch of these crypts and tombs before we go on. But let's just mark uh, the individual things that we need... <laughs> One thing at a time. Wait, how am I? Oh, right. Here is your lesson for today. 
bring me any creature with feathers. The birds in our valley fly mostly by day, nesting away at dark. You've seen gulls and other kinds farther afield. Those common birds would count for today's lesson, but it would lack ambition. You clever students who wish to impress me would do well to head to the high elevations between dawn and dusk. I would find buzzard most impressive. And before you ask, the chickens around our village came here with our ancestors. Bringing me a tame bird from your mother's yard will not <laughs> fulfill the assignment. Need one more tool to do all of the tombs. Ah. It does suggest that we are starting to get near the uh, the end, though, of what we can, you know, of, of the game itself, you know, to the later phases, at least. So, I assume that that lockbox will be down here somewhere? Yeah, in there. Hello? Oh, I'm not allowed to kill him just yet? I'm not even allowed to draw my bow? Whatever. I can no longer deny the pull that Alia has on me. She came to me, alone, as I walked the passes high above the valley. I know now that the draw was mutual. I explained to her why I could not should not why my position amongst our people should preclude such folly why i could never make her happy but it didn't matter what i said as my mouth spoke my arms reached out to enfold her and we embraced it has been so long and i am still human human after all I forgot that I have cluster bombs. Whoops. Hands off to the chicken. Hands off the chickens, exactly. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nobody trusts just the chickens. Near the end of the game? No, no, no. Really, Castell? Because I, I I was figuring, you know, like Zelda style, when you start getting all the uh, upgrades, you just start, you know, being done. That's when you get to the last... Um, Zelda pacing, you get to the last uh, dungeon, you get your last upgrade, and then you get one more dungeon where you get the real tough, you know, all the final thing. Oh, hello. All the final things you need to, to use cleverly. And that's about it. So if if this, if there's so much more to, to do here, then hats off to Tomb Raider. I mean, I know there's the Croft Manor DLC thing. Uh, there's that that I can do. Can I, can I not jump off? Oh, crap. Uh, okay, it looks like I snuck through all of this. There's a base camp over there. Let's just move forward. Um, oh, hello, Relic. Let's see if... We can now, I skipped through this earlier, let's see if we can now do this whole round, basically. Is there such a thing as a water takedown? Can I kill him from the water? Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, that is harsh. This wasn't worth it. Yeah. One of them surrendered and the company men were watching. You have to turn him over. They're taking him back to the old prison. Just the ones they think might know something about the Atlas. Constantine's gonna ask them a few questions. They've got the rest back up near the cathedral. Hmm. Someone's gonna have some fun. That must be them. Darn it. 
They need to be in the same area. There we go. There we go. They, so that is the lesson. They need to be in the same shot, basically. And they need to be close enough. There we go. But why bother to... You know, why go through the effort of sneaking through everything when you could just, you know, murder everyone. Silently. Although, admittedly, they should probably be aware by now, well aware, that Lara has a bow that she uses to murder everyone. Because, you know, they'll go and find a place and they'll see a bunch of their people who are dead with arrows in them. Surely at that point they would go, okay, looks like her favorite weapon is the bow. Um, we may want to, I don't know... Actually, is there anything you can reasonably do to protect against bow shots? Because as far as I know, they a regular um, bulletproof vest just protects against a bullet, which is a ballistic impact. In, in essence, the way, from what I understand, in essence, a bullet just is a little heavy thing that punches through. And it's just by virtue of it being really small and firing at high speed that it it wounds but the thing of course with an arrow is that it's also very sharp I do like that you seem to get more XP from doing the stealth kill I've attached everything I've learned so far Anna and Constantine, they're in charge out here, but someone else is pulling the strings above them. Someone with a lot of cash and the means to move it around. I've narrowed down the source, but I'm having a hard time believing someone in the Vatican is running a private army. Like the Swiss Guard? All roads lead to Rome. Trust me, this sounds crazy even to me, but people have to know this. If I'm gonna die for this, I wanna be on the right side for once. And Constantine? I know you're probably reading this too. You might make me disappear, but you won't win out here. And if I never get the chance to say it to your face, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> so stealth, nobody's left to notice. Exactly. The the Jex's approach to stealth. I suppose I would tell you how many more areas you have to unlock. Um. Yeah, you know what? I, I kind of would like that to, to be a secret. I kind of want to be on the unsure path. It, it's fun for me to, to have that realization of, okay, I must be close to the end, and then having people go, oh, no, 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 no. The hired guns can finish the sweep down here. We're needed back to base camp. Leave them to it. Roger, we're clear. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, seriously, how terrifying is that? Just as an idea. How terrifying is that you're walking around, maybe you'd be somebody looking at that, and then just seeing three people fall down at once, arrows through their faces. It would be horrifying. So what are we looking for exactly? Command thinks the Atlas is beneath the keep. We're looking for anything that might be No it isn't. Just ignore what he said. Just just don't think about it. We've got company! What? No, you don't. Sweep and clear. Let's move. We got incoming. Taking position. Well shit.